How can you construct arguments? Think about this question during the lesson. Nancy has $457 in her savings account and wants to have $500 by the end of the year. Christopher has $557 in his savings account and wants to have $600 by the end of the year. Who needs to save more money by the end of the year? My conjecture. They both need to save the same amount. A conjecture is a statement that you think is true. It needs to be proved or disproved. Think, how can I explain why my conjecture is correct? I need to construct an argument to justify my conjecture. Think, how can I construct an argument? I can use numbers, objects, drawings, or actions to explain my thinking. Make sure my explanation is simple, complete, and easy to understand. What are examples of drawings and objects that can be used to construct arguments? Think about how you can prove your conjecture that Nancy and Christopher need to save the same amount. Number lines and place value blocks are two examples that can be used to construct arguments. Here's my thinking. I will use drawings and numbers to explain my thinking. Remember that Nancy has $457 and wants to have $500. Christopher has $557 and wants to have $600. The distance from 457 to 500 on the number line is the same as the distance from 557 to 600. Why are number lines a good way to prove this conjecture? The number lines provide a strong visual, clearly showing that the distance from 457 to 500 is the same as the distance from 557 to 600. The number lines show that it takes the same amount of money to get from $457 to $500 that it takes to get from $557 to $600. So, 500 minus 457 equals 600 minus 557. My conjecture is correct. You used number lines to construct an argument to prove your conjecture.